Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, May 20th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Did you guys know that 42% of the population here in the US is vitamin D deficient? It's crazy, right? I just found out a few minutes ago. But if you happen to be one of the people who fall into that 42%, here's the good news. If you follow the Ruli Winkler vitamin D plan by cutting the sleeves off all of your shirts and you spend at least 15 minutes in the sun every day, you'll get those vitamin D levels up in no time. ruli has been doing some sort of mini torture training at different gyms all over the country. And I don't think I've seen him in a shirt with sleeves for the entire time he's been here. It's like he's made it his personal mission to single-handedly boost the average of vitamin D levels in America just by going sleeveless and traveling up and down the coasts. But considering that America is the sickest industrialized nation on the earth, I guess pretty much anything is an improvement at this point. Sometimes when people are in groups, something called social facilitation happens, which is a term psychologists use to explain how the individual performance can actually be enhanced just by having the presence of other people around. So if Jason Lowe is one of those people who benefits from social facilitation, it might be bad news for whoever ends up standing next to him at the Chicago Pro. Jason's been prepping hard for this season debut, which is a little less than 10 weeks away now. And the sense I get from people close to him is that he's already on schedule to beat the look that earned him fifth place there last year. We already know that Jason can beat some of the best guys in the division when he's got it all clicking. So it isn't hard to imagine a scenario where he ends up walking out of there with the victory. I think it was Einstein who said, the definition of a genius is someone who can take the complex and make it simple. And as far as men's physique is concerned, there aren't too many people better at making the complex look simple than Jeremy Potvin. Over the last few weeks, I've heard rumblings that Jeremy is already in the process of prepping for his first show of the season and that right now it looks like he's targeting one of the big shows this summer as his spot for his season debut. Jeremy was so good at the Olympia last year that expectations will probably be sky high coming right out of the gate. But as long as he keeps taking care of business, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be able to deliver a repeat performance. Since we're about to wrap up the show and we've all had four days to digest everything from last weekend, I want to throw a hypothetical question at you. Do you think Nick Walker can finish in the top six at the Olympia this year? The reason I ask is because a fan asked Nick the same question a few weeks ago during a Q&A and Nick's response was that he thought the top six was a realistic possibility if he won the New York Pro, which he obviously did. Just to put this in context, last year the top six looked like this. Hakeem, Ian, Hunter, Dexter, and Justin. Obviously Dexter is out of the equation now, and he just beat Justin in New York. So that leaves Hakeem, Ian, and Hunter as the three names from last year's group that are left. So now the question becomes, do you think he's good enough to beat any of those three right now? And if he is, does that mean we should consider him a real threat to be in the top six this year? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.